What's going on, guys, and welcome back. I've been fortunate enough to be sponsored by Blizzard today to bring you guys a new player's guide for their newest game, Warcraft Rumble, a mobile action strategy game set within the Warcraft universe where you will battle with many versions of iconic characters you know and love across Warcraft. And today, guys, I'm going to teach you everything that I've learned while playing this game. I've played it a ton, honestly, since going to BlizzCon a couple weeks back. It's been a lot of fun, but there's a little bit of a learning curve. Today, I'm going to teach you everything that I know about it in a nice, short, and sweet new player's guide. Now, personally, I've never played a game quite like Warcraft Rumble before, so this was all new to me. And honestly, it was pretty easy to pick up, but let's go ahead and break down the game so you understand what's going on. And we start here at the deck creation screen. And we start by picking our leader from one of the five iconic factions you guys definitely know and love. We have the Alliance, the Horde, Beast, Blackrock, and Undead. Now, your leader is the epicenter of your deck. You're going to be creating your synergies off these guys, and they all work a little bit different. And the minis you select on your team are usually going to correspond with your leader. Let's take Jaina Proudmore, for example. Love the character. Uh, she has the rare ability of having your spells immediately plus three levels and overall power so we know we're going to want to pack spells into our deck alongside probably some alliance minis to go along with her now there's a lot more to it but we're going to keep it a bit simple obviously our minis range from anything like an abomination a massive tank that costs a lot of resources and then you have everything from murloc tide hunters to fire elementals to more spells like execute but we're going to be going with this deck right here before we go too much into this Let's go to the gameplay and show you how this all works so this makes a lot more sense to you. Now, right now, Warcraft Rumble has one of three different game modes that you'll take on. There's a single-player campaign, head-to-head -head PvP, and, of course, dungeons with raids coming soon. Now, for the time being, let's go ahead and start in the single-player campaign, and this is where you're going to be able to see the world map. Obviously, a lot of famous Warcraft locations that you know. This game's just full of authentic Warcraft vibes created by a team with deep roots to the franchise. Everywhere you look, you're going to see different encounters and references that you may have seen from some of your favorite Blizzard games. Uh, but let's take a look at the map here, and you guys can see, uh, as we select one of these, the different levels that we can go into. Now, we're going to select the Hogger level right here, and let's jump into it and break down the screen and what you're all looking at. Now, here is the map, and as you can see, we've got ourselves quite the vibrant battlefield with a lot going on. Now, every single map is going to have a boss that has a different way to defeat it, and the boss is going to have different abilities to give you a specific challenge. You can go up to the boss. You can read the info and see what that specific boss does to make it easier to plan your strategy of attack. Now, some other things to take a focus on here. You can see there's two routes to the boss. We have one obviously filled with a lot of enemies, where the other one has this giant crossbow, which is a guard tower. Now, by defeating one of these guard towers, this is going to give us another place to spawn our troops. And to spawn our troops, we'll be using a resource in gold gold is going to slowly accumulate over the battle and some units cost different amounts of gold obviously the bigger units like abomination is going to be six gold whereas some smaller easier units like bandits are going to be simply one now you can get more gold by using your cabals that every single deck is going to have automatically to collect resources and that is kind of where the strategy starts you want to be good and efficient with your resources and be better than your opponent or obviously the AI if you're going against them too to get more gold and then obviously get more units. And we're going to go ahead and start off by spawning our units at our base and we're going to be taking on this left side and we're going to try to take out the guard tower with our main minis to be able to start spawning from there and then overwhelm the boss. Now another tip here guys is it's very important where and when you place your minis again some of them are very fragile glass cannons they can put out heavy dps but they die in an instant so we want to put some big tank meteor minis uh, obviously the ones like you see here to protect them from the boss and onslaught of enemies now most of these minis are going to have to be placed on one of your bases but be on the lookout there's some unbound minis that you can place anywhere in the map and they're deadly. You can see my opponent here uses the safe pilot to take out just a ton of my units. And obviously, that was a really good trade in resources, which is what this game is all about. Use your resources and trade efficiently to get big and better minis than your opponent to eventually overwhelm them and win, right? So as you can see, we win the battle here and we are rewarded with gold resources that we can use to upgrade our minis. We'll get to that in a second. And we can go ahead and upgrade some of our minis right now as well. 
Now, this was just one mission, and it was relatively easy, but they get extremely complex. And of course, there's over 70 missions to play through. This was just scratching the surface. And that's essentially the gist of the gameplay, at least to highlight it for you guys for now. And in typical Blizzard fashion, very easy to learn and hard to master. Warcraft Rumble is going to reward players for experimentation and trying out different sets and combinations of minis and styles and strategies. And so it takes some yeah, play time, but eventually you're going to nail down a style that feels really good to you. Now, as you beat missions, you'll be accumulating gold that you'll use to upgrade your minis or unlock new ones via the grid that you can see right here. This is a really cool mechanic. Essentially, you can click one of the minis that you want to upgrade or unlock and the X and the Y axis are going to change. So for instance, if I did not want to lose these Murlocs, I can move them over for a small amount of gold and then I can unlock our character and it gets rid of an entire row. And right away, guys, my biggest advice is to try to unlock uh, as many as possible before upgrading your units. As you unlock and get more minis, you're going to go ahead and upgrade your collection level. And this is going to help you overall get more gold, more resources. And so that's definitely a major tip that I wish I knew sooner. Now, first, let's just talk my favorite minis. Which ones have been awesome for me? Could be different for you, but uh, without question, my favorite minis are going to be Harpies, a very efficient flying unit. Uh, not everything can attack flying, so they're great and they put out a ton of damage. Love Abomination as well to protect them. So they make a great kind of duo or synergy. Put the Abomination out and then you have the Harpies behind. A Quill Boar is probably the best bang for buck resource wise. He only costs two gold. You can put him anywhere on the map because he's unbound, which is very rare. So you can send up some great units that you have to attack. If they're being overwhelmed, you can put a Quill Boar behind the boss or behind the enemy and get that aggro over to him the huntress feels extremely powerful too even though she does cost a good amount of gold and overall you just want to look at all the different types you have ones that can overwhelm towers and big tanks uh like our raptors here but then you also have things like uh, a necromancer that can summon skeletons there's so many different minis i can't break them all down here but hopefully that was a good little gist to help you experiment and know what to go for right away and we're going to take our minis and go into another game mode our pvp this is what a lot of you guys are probably looking for it's live player versus player action and it's going to be on several different maps and we'll be going against somebody with a deck similar to ours right so we're going to go in here and you guys can see it's somewhat similar to the single campaign and uh we're going to fast forward a bit of the gameplay behind me uh but lo and behold i end up overwhelming my opponent comes out very close but same strategies apply. Efficient use of your minis and then gathering resources. On top of PvP though, guys, if that's not your thing, you also have dungeons, which is, you know, obviously typical in Warcraft games with raids on the way. Dungeons offer just a different style of gameplay with really good rewards to upgrade your characters. And probably one of the best parts about the game is that you, you don't need an energy or anything like that to play. You can sink in just about as much hours as you want, which is uh, definitely a breath of fresh air. Now lastly, guys, in true Warcraft faction, it's all about guilds, right? And Warcraft Rumble is going to give you that as well. You can join up to 15 of your friends and you guys can collectively have objectives to unlock it. Actually, really good rewards. Uh, this week, we got a brand new leader uh, that obviously a lot of people are going to want. You have emotes and then you have other upgradable resources and all you do is simply play the game. So you have a little bit of that. You've got PvP, campaign, dungeons, and with raids along the way, there's a lot to keep you busy in Warcraft Rumble. And other than that, guys, my biggest tip is play the game. It's one of those that you have to sink your teeth into to get better and better and know which minis are good against others. And you're going to get more efficient at collecting resources and building your decks and obviously collecting and upgrading your characters and minis as well i want to give a huge shout out to warcraft rumble again for sponsoring today's video you can find the link down in the description below and uh, good luck out there guys and until the next one happy rumbling